for using insulating material. If I have a metal plate, another metal plate, and I put wood in between them, that's a capacitor. Right? I can have a sheet of metal, put on top of that paper, put on top of that another sheet of metal, roll it up, that's a capacitor. Because they're, the two metals are separated by an insulator. And the use of capacitors is to store electrical energy. And that electrical energy is called electric potential energy. And you want to store it in there and then retrieve that energy when you need it. Okay? And the way you the way you, you, you store that energy in the capacitor is by charging it. And what happens is you charge one of the conductors positively, and the other conductor will end up being um, charged negatively. So it's, you're going to have plus Q in one conductor, a charge of plus Q in one of the conductors, and the same amount of charge negative Q on the other conductor. And you separate them with a vacuum because if one of them is positively charged, well, not necessarily a vacuum, but with an insulator, because if one of them is charged positively and the other one is charged negatively, the charges want to be together. But if you put this insulating material between them, that keeps the charges apart. Yes? So, um, it's important to remember something about capacitors at the very, very fundamental level. Okay? Uh, let me consider the case of a set of parallel plates, which we began analyzing in chapter 22 when we applied Gauss's law to figure out the electric field between the plates, outside of the plates. So let me consider 